This episode is sponsored by Manscaped. The naming of an All Black squad is always an exciting day, but even more so today because it's Scott Robertson's first ever All Black squad as new head coach. Hello amateurs, welcome back to our summer test series here with you throughout the summer, so hit subscribe down below to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Now then, as I said, Scott Razor Robertson, new coach, it's been coming for a long, long time, it's been on the cards, he had to wait his time, coaching incredibly well for the uber successful Crusaders who've had a plummet since he, since he left, and the first job he had was to choose his captain, and he has gone for his captain at the Crusaders, and that is Scotty Barrett. There was lots of talk that he was potentially going to go with Adi Salveh was a, a, a potential option, but I think he wanted to go with somebody that he's already got that good personal connection with, and also just Salveh maybe he leads anyway, so the added responsibility of captain maybe not necessary for him. And of course, a new squad with a new coach it's always likely to unearth some new caps. So there's five, count them, five potential new caps in this squad uh, for the All Blacks. And it looks, just on the face of it, there's some familiar names there, but there's some big ones missing through retirement or injury. Um, we're missing the likes of Whitelock, Retallick, Sam Kane, Aaron Smith, Cam Roygaard, Richie Mawanga. I mean, that is a spine of a team right there that is not available for this series. Just looking at this squad, they do something here which I am a big fan of and England don't do it and I really wish they did. They list them in position order rather than alphabetical order. So it just makes going through this team list so much easier, like just to be able to check which hookers have been selected, which tight heads, who's been selected in the back row before, rather than going up and down trying to figure all this stuff out. So well done All Blacks. Keep doing that and other nations, other teams do this as well because it makes much, much more sense. So in the hookers uh, ranks, you've got Asafi, uh, Asafo Aoma, who has been the coming star for a while, along with Cody Taylor, the, the incumbent. And one of the new caps, George Bell there. Um, another new cap uh, in the front rowers is Pasilio Tossi, who has been described as a giant so I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. I haven't seen him play at this stage. Scotty Barrett there, starting second row and captain in the second row. But the big, big talking point really in the forwards has come on the number eight position where fully expect Adi Savea to uh, be wearing that jersey. But missing out is Hoskins Satutu, who has had a brilliant season for the Blues. Another man that has been kind of knocking on the door for quite some time. So I just wonder whether, because he's been knocking for all this time, whether that has gone against him when there's probably only one other number eight berth uh, available in the squad. And that's gone to Wallace Satiti, who's a youngster, but has also had some brilliant, brilliant games in Super Rugby this year. Plus, he's got a brilliant first name. Wallace, what a great name. I just think that's strong. So uh, well done. Wallace Satiti for getting in the squad. And like I say, it's unlikely he's going to start with Adi Savea in the number eight jersey. So maybe they're looking to the future a little bit. Somebody who's got a little bit more road in front of him uh, to challenge for that number eight jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to announce that Smooth Sack Summer is officially upon us. When you're playing in the summer sun, make sure you're groomed from pubes to bum. Thanks to our friend at Manscaped, you can make this season your smoothest yet. The Performance Package 5.0 Ultra is the ultimate bundle to keep your boys downstairs cool while looking hot. Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Get 20% off and free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use the code TARP20. That's T-A-R-P-20. Summertime and the trimming is easy. Have you really done any male grooming if you haven't nicked a nutsack? I know I have and I have to say I've never felt more confident thrashing through the bushes than with the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra. Every man knows how scary it can get when going for a close shave below the belt. That's why I trust Manscaped for all my sensitive areas. The Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Ultra has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. The fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next-gen skin-safe blade heads, a standard one, 
for taking a little off the top and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. We also have dual LED spotlights to provide contrast and multiple skin tones, three length setting combs, and oh, did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? Beach, lake, or shower, this razor will devour even the strongest pubes. Now that you have the perfect haircut, use Manscaped's liquid formulations to keep that freshness, even at the hottest summer barbecues. The Crop Soother After Shave Lotion and Crop Preserver Anti Chafe Ball Deodorant. Once they touch your sack, you'll never go back. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code TARP20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code TARP20, T-A-R-P, the Amateur Rugby Podcast, 20 at manscaped.com. It's smooth sack summer, boys. Get on board or get left behind. Okay, back to the show. Now, I said about the uh, listing uh, by position rather than alphabetical is great, but it kind of makes very little difference when you get to the All Blacks um, back division because there's so many players that can play in so many different places. So uh, in the scrum half burst, these ones are obvious. You've got Finley Christie there from the Blues. Great to see TJ Perinara back. 80 caps. He's had a year out. Ruptured his Achilles tendon. He's had a few operations on that. And apparently uh, the selection decision when he found out almost brought him to tears great man TJ Perinara I love the way he goes about his game so it's brilliant to see him back in an all-black squad also in the scrum half burst there is Cortez Ratima uh, another potential new cap Jordi Barrett uh, vice captain along with Ardi Servaia by the way I should have mentioned that uh, which makes you know Bowden Barrett you know probably feels a bit missing out that he's not in one of the captaincy roles as a Barrett brother in this all-black squad but he's listed there as a 10. It's it's likely, by all accounts, reading reading between the lines, that he might be more favoured as a 15, with Damian McKenzie, the likely starter at 10. Some familiar names there in the centres with uh, Anton Lennon-Brown and Rico Ioni, who this week said that he uh, rates winning the Super Rugby title as being more important than winning a World Cup. I mean, I'm going to leave that one hanging there. I don't want to judge too much, but I think he might be in a vast majority, minority of people who would think that. Another new cap there in the three-quarter line, Billy Proctor, potentially. Um, and of all, as always with the New, new Zealanders, some incredible firepower in the back three there. Caleb Clark scored a lot of tries this year. Severus and Mark Talea, always dangerous. Mark Talea, possibly one of the All Blacks' best players at the Rugby World Cup. Uh, and he is back again. And then just one final note really here on this uh, selection. What And, you know, what's happened this previous week. And I love this about New Zealand rugby. I love that the players have got deep connections to the clubs where they started out. Because this week, both Bowden Barrett and Ardi Savea went back to their club sides and played, I think, about a half of rugby each. They hadn't played for a little while. They wanted to get their boots on. They wanted to run out. They wanted to give something back as well to the clubs that had sort of started them off and got them moving. Adi Salve apparently couldn't hang around after the game but chopped 500 bucks behind the bar so that everybody could have a good time in his name. I'm a big fan of that. I'd love to see. It's difficult in the UK because it's not the same structure. It doesn't quite work the same. But just to have the confidence that you can go and play a half a game of rugby and not be terrified that you're going to get injured for example, I think is a, is a very healthy mindset to have. Okay, so this is the All Black squad. Ton of good players in there, obviously, but new coach, new captain, five potential new caps. This is a transition phase for the All Blacks. There's no doubt a huge chunk of rugby IQ has left this squad. Uh, they're still going to be brilliant, obviously, but is there a chance for England to get after them? I'll be looking at that later in the week. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this squad, what you think about the Satiti versus Tatutu uh, selection dilemma. I just love the, the fact their names are so similar as well. It's kind of uh, makes it even better. And let me know, out of these five new caps, which one do you think is going to have the biggest impression uh, or most likely even to get selected to face England this summer? I'll join you there down there for a conversation. Give this video a thumbs up while you're down there. If you don't mind, it helps other people find it. And you can subscribe there. You can watch that one next. And do not forget to get out and play.